Hello, my name is Denise Trogdon, and I am the rector of All Saints Episcopal Church on Hilton Head Island. I was asked to reflect upon the upcoming anniversary of the first ordination of women 50 years ago, the Philadelphia 11. My first response is of enormous gratitude for the determination and courage of those first pioneers of that very difficult path. Without their faith and commitment, I would most certainly not be where I am today. Having grown up in the Episcopal Church, I always believed that I was a beloved child of God and that I could be whatever I chose to be. But when I heard the call to ordain ministry in high school, I remember dismissing those thoughts because that simply was not available to me as a woman. It was my first encounter with the glass ceiling that had not yet been shattered. By the time I graduated, the Philadelphia 11 had been ordained but faced tremendous conflict and rejection. Although I explored the possibility, ultimately I chose to work with families through a career in social work. I did not have it in me at the time to cross the boundaries that were so firmly in place in our culture. The call never went away for me, and I had every lay leadership position I could in the Episcopal Church where I worshiped. When I finally decided to pursue seminary some 20 years later, much to my family's relief, the doors flew open for me and at least a third of my class was female. I know God did not waste any of my experience or training as a therapist, but for the first time in my life, as a priest, I was using all of the gifts God gave me. Just to give us a little perspective, a colleague who was serving at an all-female clergy church brought her young children each week. One Sunday, they had a guest preacher who happened to be a male. And at the end of the service, my colleague's youngest said, Mommy, I didn't know boys could be priests. We've come a long way in these many years. That is not to say that the struggle for women is over. There are still many situations when I encounter veiled resentment or systemic bias. It is only gain that so many talented and passionate women are now serving the church as clergy. I give great thanks for the example of those brave women, the Philadelphia 11, who sacrificed and persevered so that we could be offered all possibilities. May God bless you and keep you.